Hi! I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my China Asters. They are new to me this year and I was really excited about them. I picked them because I thought they would be a great focal flower um, between the times of zinnias and before the dahlias come. So I ended up getting a Towers mix from Johnny's Seed and I ordered 500 um, of that mix and then I also ordered um, 50 of the Valkyrie series and 50 of the Miss Europe series. And so of those seeds, so that's about 600 different types of Aster seeds, I got maybe, I'm trying to think here, um, <laughs> let me check my notes. Uh, 294 actually turned into plants. So you don't always get 100% germination even if you're doing absolutely everything perfect. So these little guys, I started six to eight weeks before my last frost. So, you know, back in March, in my little seed trays in my grow room, and they like to be at 70 to 72 degrees. So you gotta keep the temperature correct, you gotta keep them watered, you gotta keep them growing um, good. And then we transplanted them out about May 22nd, the week of May 22nd, so probably the 24th or 26th, because I had a lot of plants to get out. But back to asters, these things are amazing, and they are not your regular asters that you have growing in your landscape. These are tall, these are like 28 to 34 inches tall, and you can kind of see them behind me. They're beautiful. And the fun thing about getting a mix is you get a variety of colors, so I just wasn't sure on a color palette that I really wanted, so I wanted to try everything this year. So I'm just gonna show you guys some of the variety that came with my Asters mix. So this is one, this is the lighter yellow. So these are really nice full bloom and they grow on a stem with about five different stems. And the first one blooms right away and it's a short stem in the middle. So you kind of have to wait till that's done opening and just snip that off. You can't really use that. It's not bouquet height. You could put it in a little vase if you want, but it's not going in bouquets. And then the next five will open and they, or four will open and they will be longer length enough to use in a vase, which is great. So you get about, you know, five, four or five usable stems. Um, I don't believe these are cut and come again from ones I've cut. Uh, if they've grown back, it's very short, it's like six, ten inches tops, and they're flimsy. So I would consider these not a cut and come again. Like they are a one-time flower, but at least they produce, you know, four or five uh, flowers per stem. This is another variety. This one's more open already. So neat. It's kind of like white into pink. Um, this is another brighter pink. pretty lighter pink so we got the two shades of pink this one has the pink and the white um, let's see here oh this one came out it's a full pink almost like a daisy you know uh, more of a single layer of petals but very pretty I like that one and then for the purples these almost look fake to me um, they are white and then the tips are dipped in purple I'm sorry if this isn't focusing for you guys. Because it really is really pretty. And then there's the other purple. So I'll kind of put them next to each other. You can see the difference. And then did I get even more darker? Oh, this one's looking a little sad. But you can tell the difference of the colors. So there's the three different purple mixes. One has a little bit more red. And it's a little bit uh, deeper color also very beautiful and then this is so unusual so this just opened last week so these opened um, around July 16th so that was almost a month ago because today I don't even know what the day is August 20th okay so August 20th and I still have these blooming like they are still doing great so they take it's almost a little over a month this one just started blooming last week and I think this is actually maybe considered the silver. I tried to look up on the website. Um, so, you know, they have yellows, pinks, reds, purples. Um, but then they had this one. And I think it's silver. It's like gray almost. It's so unusual. And I thought this would be really hard to use, but I did a bouquet bar at my last market. 
and people really were drawn to this and they liked it because it's just so unusual to me it seems like antiques are faded um, almost looks kind of like a dirty flower but it's it's very unique i could maybe see it like in wedding work because you know distress and antiqued is in right now um let's see what else i got oh this is one of the valkyries isn't this fun spiky so i totally bought this online because i was like this reminds me of the spiky mums that you get in um, you know grocery bouquets nothing wrong with grocery bouquets but i'm trying to buy you know do more varieties and something fun that you don't see every day um but this i need this and these come in uh, like light purple white like a like a lemony butter color which is really pretty and then also so this one kind of is white and then gets out to pink and then there's also like a bright pink that's closer to you know closer to this pink but in the valkyrie so fun i'm gonna get way more of these next year i only got 50 of these um so this is probably gonna go into like the 500 zone like these are so fun and amazing i love these um what else do i have oh this is another one this is more white well, that might be all I have, but I can show you my beautiful row of asters behind me. And they are still blooming great. I'm like, oh, so pretty. So if you have any suggestions of, I don't know, different colored asters I should try, or honestly, any suggestions of different flowers I should try, I would appreciate that. You can totally let me know. Um, I'm really interested in people's opinions on color palettes. I think next year I'm going to focus more on uh, bouquet bars so that I can just try a bunch of different varieties and people can pick what they want. But I'm also going to still make bouquets because that's like my favorite part is arranging the bouquets. <laughs> um, but I'll give you a quick tour real quick. Of uh, got my snapdragons behind me. This is my other garden back there. The dahlias and stuff are back there. Asters, I've got a full row of zinnias. I'm gonna start to do a lot more videos so that you guys can have a chance to like see my garden. Some of these videos are too long for Facebook, so I've been holding off on them and they will be on uh, YouTube. So hopefully I'll have a YouTube channel and then you guys can ask me questions and I can show you things. And I don't know, I'm really excited about it. I like sharing um, what I'm doing. And I love showing people what I'm growing. And I've had a lot of people ask at the market, you know, oh, you're, you know, you or say, your garden must be beautiful. How are you growing these? And, you know, I'd love to do another video to show you, you know, why I decided to do this and how I do it and um, what I'm thinking of it so far. Okay. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know if you have anything else you want me to film. Thanks.